Okay, we are on the last section of the project, customize an org to support a new business unit. So now automate your business process. First, we are going to create assignment rules. So we want to create assignment rules by firstly create a new queue, a support agent's queue for billing. So what are queues? There are lines like this, like if you're queuing for something. So this is people queuing for the billing support, right? These are people queuing for the customer support, for the technical support. Okay, you got the idea, right? So these are queues. So close that up. Let's create queues. First, we want to create a billing support agent queue. So you go to setup and then you go to queues. Make a new one. And let's name this billing support agents. Okay. And send email to members. Deselect that. So it's not selected. So available object is case. And then queue members. We want to choose Aaron and Fumiko. That's all. So case and then we add the members and then save okay save that next we are going to create case assignment rule so we're going to say if this is a billing case assigned to this queue okay so case assignment rule case assignment rules here we are going to edit this guy here okay so we're going to make new rule and it will be number two. This is how the rule will go. It will try to match the first criteria. Doesn't match. Do the second one. Do the third one. Do the fourth one. Do the fifth one. Once it matches, it's going to go to assignment rule, whatever it's assigned to. Okay. So I'm going to make a new one here. And the sort order is number two. And the criteria is um, case status equal new and then case record type equals billing. So case status, case sta status here equals, you can choose from there, new and record type equals billing. Record type are record type it's on the top there okay equals billing there select so who are we going to assign to if this matches if the criteria matches meaning the status of the case is new and the record type is billing who are we going to assign them to we are going to assign them to a queue, not a user, and queue them to billing support agents. So change this to queue there and choose billing support agents. Okay. So then save. So we don't want to assign an email template or anything here. So leave everything as is and just save it. Boom. Okay, so now assignment order number two is ours. Status equals new and it's billing record type. And then it's going to be assigned to billing support agents, which right now the member is Fumiko and Aaron. That makes sense, right? All right. Now let's try it out. So we're going to create a new case. Um, and then it's a billing case for Sean Edge Communications. So I'm going to hit my app launcher and cases there make a new case button there new case it's a billing case next it would be um, for sean there account edge communications and then what else product choose any of the product 
I'm going to choose that one and then type electronic case origin phone case origin phone um, type is electronic and then subject renew warranty we are going to renew the warranty for this product client wants to renew warranty for a laptop that's the description and assign using active assignment rule we want to select that and we don't have that right we have sent notification email to contact but we don't have the assign to assignment rule checkbox so okay i want to cancel this out we have a note here at the bottom if assign using active assignment rule is not appearing return to the case assignment rule from setup and then edit the standard and and then deactivate and then activate it again so go back to our setup because it's not appearing case assignment rule basically we want to like trigger it click on here we want to edit this and we want to deactivate that save right and then edit again and activate that all right so now if we go back here we are going to try and create a new case we have the new checkbox assign using active assignment rule so now let's fill it properly edge communication product pick one type electronic case origin phone case reason performance i forgot is it warranty um subject warranty oh we don't have a reason here so it's free i'm just going to choose one um it's warranty i'm just going to choose other and then the subject is renew warranty and this and that and this is checked assign using active assignment rule and save there we have it so this case will be assigned to the billing queue that we just created so we can check that actually so now we've saved that now create escalation rule so we're going to go set up an escalation rule new rule for support okay escalation rule escalation rule for yeah this one and then enter escalation rule and then i'm gonna click a new rule named support and make it active save that now i'm going to click over here and new rule sort order one case reason is performance save sort order one case reason equals performance insert that and then let's see and then just save it i'm going to save that so now we have um a new escalation rules but we haven't have an escalation actions yet so now update the rules entries of the newly created support escalation rule click new under escalation actions if the age value to one 
right? H, the age of the case is one day. So one, H over one, or oh, one minute actually. So H over value to one, in the notify this user and select lookup, select our name, select your own name, I'm sound developer for this case. Oh not authority assign cases, wait, wait, wait. Notify this user, my bad. So not this one. Notify me and then notify case owner. Okay, for the notification template, select lookup and then choose support escalated case notification. So template here, notification user. Support case assignment, is it? Let's check there. Um, support, no, escalated case notification escalated case notification i'm just going to search escalated here escalated notification so for this notify this user that okay that's set and then save so we have the action here all right so let's move on create a new product support case for edge communication and review the escalation action in the case escalation queue. So basically um, a new case and then this, we, we will see if this new case will be escalated, all right? So now I'm gonna create a new case again, go to cases. I'm gonna create a new case, uh, no product support. And then Sean, Edge communications, choose a product. The type is electronic origin email reason performance. Electronic origin email reason performance. Now because the reason is performance and our escalation rule will kick in or will trigger, right? When the case reason equals performance. So this will kick in, okay? And then make the subject and, oops, the subject and the details here. Laptop not working and then client laptop not working. Again, check this box. Assign using active assignment rule and save that. So once you save that, Copy the case number and then go to case escalation. So I'm gonna copy my case number here. And then on setup here, monitoring case escalation. And then case number, case to escalate equals that. Search, boom. So escalate at this time Case to escalate, escalation rule support, rule entry first, escalation action one hour and zero minutes. So it's going to be escalated because that case matches the criteria, which is case reason is performance. So that's how we can create escalation rules. The point is we want to assign certain cases matching certain criteria to the right queue so they can be surfaced better by our team who knows what they are doing according to what the case is all about. All right, we have finished our project for the admin certification preparation, our first project. Let's get the point and I will see you on the next section. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! We've got a shiny new badge. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And 
do yourself a favor. Like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.